Okay guys, this is a tutorial on setting up your Amazon VPC or Virtual Private Cloud off the Amazon Web Service Console. This is going to be a short tutorial as setting up the VPC is very easy. So going to the page once you first log in to your Amazon console, this is the page you would see. As you can see, there's all the different web services that Amazon has for you to choose from. From deployment and management to storage and content delivery, all the way to database and app services. Now to start off to create the Amazon Virtual Private Cloud, what you want to do is you want to click the VPC isolated cloud resources. This should take you to the page where you're ready to set up your virtual private cloud. Right here, as you can see, I already have four VPCs running, as well as the five subnets that are configured to each. Now you don't need to go through all this long process to set up the virtual private cloud through setting up all of them through manual. And what I mean by that is you don't need to set up each VPC as well as setting up the subnets and all the networking to it. In order to avoid all that and all the hassle going through all those steps, start by clicking the Start VPC Wizard. With this, you have various options where you can create the VPC either with a single subnet or a public and a private subnet, as well as all the other options. Just to make it short, we'll choose the most basic option, which is the VPC with a single public. Once you have that, it will give you all the details and the specifications to the VPC that it will be created. You can also modify them by editing on the tab over here on each listed service. But we will save that for later. Click the Create VPC and the wizard will get to creating it. Once it's done, you'll get the message saying it has been successfully created. Now once it's created, go to Launch EC2 Instances. This is where you can see a list of all the VPC clouds that you have created. I have several running, and you can create as many as you want certain locations such as in the Oregon and you can also create the virtual private clouds in international countries as well such as the Asia Pacific and the South America so now when you have your instance configured click the square and highlight it then can click connect and what you want to do is you want to get the click get password then choose file from here basically from the start when creating the VPC it should have given you the option to create the key and download it now if you have that created go to the folder where you have downloaded that key select it then click decrypt password. Now it should give you the username and the password for the VPC you created. Then click download desktop file. Open it up. Then click connect and enter the password. Then click yes and then it should connect you to the virtual private cloud that has been created
once you're connected, basically have the whole instant details of the operating system and the ECU information. Now you got a full working virtual private cloud that is perfect for running eBay, PayPal, or even Amazon accounts. Now the good thing about this is that it has its own IP so you don't need to worry about changing your IP address through either a modem, router, or even through your phone. This is a static IP address that remains static throughout the entire time 24-7. So if you have any questions or concerns, you can leave a comment at the comment section or you can visit us at www dot auction e